Welcome to Stories Podcast. I'm your host, Amanda Weldon. Today's story is called Beefsteak the Hero Dog, inspired by a true story from 1908 France, written for you by Daniel Hines. Thanks. Enjoy the episode. Beefsteak the Hero Dog Once upon a time in Paris, by the banks of the lovely River Seine, there lived a big Newfoundland dog. If you've never seen a Newfoundland, or Newfie as they're called, they are a strange and beautiful breed. They're huge dogs weighing nearly 200 pounds, but they're famously gentle and good with kids. They also love to swim and have fur especially suited for the water, so they've long been used as lifeguards and other protectors which is why no one was particularly surprised when one day, a little kid, only a couple of years old, was toddling along the edge of the River Seine. The bank was steep, and below, the waters were flowing sluggish but strong. The kid tottered along and then saw a shiny fish jump out of the water below, flipping in the air and then landing back with a splash. Fishy, the kid said, and veered towards the water. Two steps later, she was tumbling down the steep bank and plunging into the muddy water. She had time to yelp only once before she was swallowed up. My baby girl, cried the mother. She was only a few steps away, but she couldn't reach her in time. I can't swim. Please, someone help. The people around all froze for a moment, trying to process what had happened. But then a dark chocolate-colored blur flew by. It was a Newfie dog, a huge one, and it didn't even slow down as it hit the edge of the river. With an urgent woof, it leapt into the river below and splashed down into the muddy current. People were shouting, the mother was hollering, and a few people were beginning to climb down the bank to help the kid, but there was no need. A moment later, the Newfie emerged from the water, carrying the baby by the back of her jacket. The Newfie dragged the girl up onto the shore and then dropped her. She coughed once and then rolled back to her feet, completely fine. My baby, the mother said, sliding down the bank to wrap her kid in a big hug. You saved her! You're a hero! The mother added the Newfie to the hug and the dog wagged his tail, barking happily and covering mom and daughter both with slobbery kisses. Woof! Woof woof! The crowd cheered and helped the three back up the riverbank. Mother and child were given a warm blanket to dry off, and the dog was given pats and scratches, and, best of all, a fresh beefsteak from the market across the street. The dog ate the beefsteak in three big bites and then smiled widely, a little drool dripping. Who owns the hero dog? someone asked. They checked and found that the dog had no collar and no owner nearby to claim him. I'll keep an eye on him, said Baptiste, the owner of the market. If anyone comes to claim him, that's fine. But if he's a stray, he can live with me here, near the river. Everyone thought that was a great idea, and so Baptiste adopted the big shaggy dog, who he named Beefsteak, after his favorite food. The crowd soon thinned out and things went back to normal. Beefsteak spent that night sleeping by a warm fireplace instead of on the streets. It was a good day for it, because a terrible storm rolled through Paris the next morning. The rain came down in driving sheets, the sky was dark as night, and the wind howled like a werewolf through the streets. Most people stayed inside if they could, but one little boy sat in his house by the river, looking longingly at the huge puddles forming on the cobbled sidewalk. He wanted nothing more than to jump and splash in them, and as they got bigger and bigger, bigger than any puddle he had ever seen, he simply couldn't resist. When his father was distracted by something bubbling on the stove, the boy pulled on his rain boots and snuck out front. He was immediately pummeled by the wind and the rain, but he staggered to the biggest puddle on the raised bank of the river. Puddle King! Puddle King! he yelled and then he jumped in with a tremendous splash. He laughed, even as he was soaked to the bone and jumped again and again. All hail the Puddle King, he screamed one more time, 
and gave his biggest jump yet. He landed on the edge of the river bank, and a huge bit of ground seemed to melt away to mud beneath his boots. Whoa! he cried, tumbling backward and directly into the river. The water was high and running fast because of all the rain. The boy went under and spun and couldn't seem to tell which way was up. Luckily for him, Beefsteak the Newfie had seen the whole thing from his warm spot in the market's open door under the awning. Woof! 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 he cried, getting the attention of some nearby humans. He jumped up and charged through the rain and wind and leapt into the river. Beefsteak, cried Baptiste, what are you doing? He ran to the water's edge with some others, including the boy's father, who had just realized he had toddled out of the house. There, they saw the big dog pulling the sputtering boy out of the water by the heel of one big rain boot. Henry! cried the father, sliding down the bank to pick up his son. Are you okay? What have we said about leaving the house? What have we said about playing by the river? Are you okay? The boy blinked and nodded. I'm fine, Dad, he said. I was just, <coughs> just playing in a puddle. The crowd cheered that the boy was fine and cheered louder again for Beefsteak the Hero Dog. Everyone agreed he was some kind of angel and that the market by the water was a fine place for a lifeguard like him to live. The boy's father even bought a beefsteak from the market and gave it to the dog to thank him. Woof, said the Newfie, happily inhaling the meat while everyone celebrated him and gave him good scratches behind his big floppy ears. The next day, the storm had cleared, and the sun had dried all the rain from the streets. People were out shopping and walking in large crowds all over, and the market was bustling with business. With all the commotion, no one saw exactly what happened, but suddenly, a woman was yelling. My baby! My baby fell in the river! No sooner had she shouted it than Beefsteak was there. He jumped into the water like Superman and had the baby by the diaper in a second flat. He carried the baby right up the shore and dropped it into the mother's waiting arms. Beefsteak the hero, Baptiste shouted, and everyone broke into applause. Of course, per tradition, the mother bought the dog his namesake, a beefsteak, and gave it to him as a reward, along with more pets and scratches than he knew what to do with. The next day was a normal day, but the day after that, there was another screaming parent and another rescue by Beefsteak the hero dog. He got his reward, but people were starting to get nervous. Was the river not as safe as they thought? The next two days, two more kids fell in the river. Thankfully, Beefsteak was there to rescue them, but the authorities began to worry. There were too many people falling in, and it was becoming a safety issue. They fixed up the mud along the shore and put up a little guardrail, sure that that would fix the issue. But the next day, there was another emergency and another miracle rescue by Beefsteak. This time, the child was a little older and could talk. They said they weren't sure what happened exactly. All they knew was that they had been pushed, pushed into the river. The authorities got together with Baptiste and the other locals of the area. They organized a watch, so someone would always be on duty, keeping an eye out for the pusher. They still could hardly believe such a criminal was in their midst, and all of them could only thank their lucky stars that Beefsteak, the hero dog, was there to look out for them. The next day, Baptiste and Matteo, a police officer, were keeping a watch on the river. They sat together on the roof of Baptiste's market, giving them a clear view up and down the riverbank. You think there will be a push today? Baptiste asked. There's been one every other day, said Matteo. Whoever this fiend is, they can't help themselves. Thank the heavens above for that hero dog, or else it would have been so much worse. Baptiste nodded. Good old beefsteak, he said with a smile. And hey, speak of the big lug, there he goes now. The shaggy newfie was trotting along the river, enjoying the sun as it shone on his dark chocolate fur. His tail was wagging, and he stopped here and there to collect pets and scratches from passers-by. He's a good boy, said Matteo. The best, agreed Baptiste. They watched as the dog found a sunny spot by the river and laid down. 
they turned their eyes back to the riverbank and waited for the criminal to show themselves. And shortly after, they did. Baptiste and Matteo watched as the little girl stood on the riverbank, leaning against the safety railing. Her parents were a few steps away, talking to an old friend they ran into at the store. As the parents chatted, the girl leaned against the railing and looked down at the fish in the river, stretching so far her feet were off the ground. As Baptiste and Matteo watched in horror, Beefsteak the hero dog went up to the girl, put his big shaggy head under one of her feet, and then launched her into the river with a splash. Beefsteak, no, cried Baptiste. People turned towards the splash and saw the child flailing in the water. A second later, Beefsteak was there. He jumped into the water and grabbed the girl, pulling her safely to the shore. The parents pulled her up and wrapped her in a towel, while Beefsteak got another hero celebration of pats and scratches and, yes, another beefsteak to eat. He's the criminal, said Baptiste. The first couple kids he saved, said Matteo, shaking his head. He learned he gets a beefsteak every time he pulls a kid from the river. When not enough kids were falling in, he must have started pushing them. The two looked at each other and burst out laughing. They were thankful no one had been hurt and relieved that there wasn't a real criminal in their midst. After that, they kept Beefsteak away from the river, and sure enough, people stopped falling in so much. The dog was still allowed to help when they did, but only with Baptiste's supervision, and only when someone actually fell in accidentally. And to make sure he stayed happy, Beefsteak still got a beefsteak every Friday night, and he didn't even have to pretend to save someone. The End Today's story, Beefsteak the Hero Dog, was inspired by a true story from 1908 France, written for you by Daniel Hines, edited and produced for you by Andrew Martin, and performed for you by me, Amanda Weldon. If you would like to support Stories Podcast, you can leave us a five-star review on iTunes, get ad-free episodes and early access when you subscribe to our Wondery Plus Kids feed on iTunes or Apple Podcasts, Check out all of our merch available at storiespodcast.com slash shop, commission a special video on Cameo, follow us on Instagram at storiespodcast, or simply tell your friends about us. We wanted to let all of you know that we've just launched our official YouTube channel at youtube.com slash storiespodcast. If you've ever wanted to read along with us, these videos are just for you. They feature the text of the stories nice and big on the screen, with each word highlighted as I read it, so you can match up the way it looks with the way it sounds. YouTube also lets you change the play speed, so depending on your level, you can slow down the narration to follow along. They're great for new readers, storybook time, English language learners, and even just for listening. And in the future, we plan on adding more read-alongs, some live storytime readings, Q&As, and more. Check it out at youtube.com slash stories podcast. Thanks for listening! Thanks for listening.